Number 43, calculate the molar mass of each of the following. We got A through E, and we definitely did a question just like this in number 42, the last question. So if you guys are new here and you are kind of completely lost, which is totally fine, go back to number 42 first. I, go, I will go much more in depth than here. This one will be like the sped up version. All right, so but just know that, you know, the molar mass is always the sum of individual masses of the elements. So basically we're, follow, we're just getting the sum of the individual parts and the parts are the elements. Also know that a molar mass is always going to be in units of gram per mole. And when we say gram per mole, it's always gram per one mole. So one mole of anything will always equal the molar mass in grams, technically. All right, so let's start this out. We got A, S8. So I'm just going to put A over here, S8. We got to find the molar mass. Now, I love to compartmentalize things, especially in chemistry and and math and all sciences. It just makes it easier and my brain works that way. So let's put it into, you know, category. let's categorize it. So in here, technically we only have one sulfur, right? Uh, I don't wanna say that. We only have one element and that is sulfur, right? So there's only one element here, sulfur, but how many sulfurs do we have? We have eight of them. So to find a molar mass, I always like to say how many I have, and then I will multiply by the molar mass, which is found on the periodic table. You will need a periodic table for every molar mass question, no exceptions. So we just gotta find out where sulfur is. Sulfur is right here on the periodic table. The mass of sulfur that they gave you was 32.06. So we just gotta do eight times 32.06, 256.48 grams per mole. And that's the molar mass for the first one. So box that answer off. That's the answer for the first one. I'll link it over here. So I'll just say 256.48 grams per mole. Okay, awesome, A is done. B, C5H12. So let's write B, C5H12, compartmentalize how many different elements are here. What do we got? We got carbon and we have hydrogen. How many carbon are here? There are five carbons. How many hydrogens are here? There's 12. Now you will multiply by the molar mass of each element. So carbon is right here, it's 12.01, and hydrogen is up top here, so that's 1.008, that's the molar, the, the mass numbers, so you always take the mass numbers. And now we just gotta do the math. So five times 12.01 is roughly 12, uh, 60.05, and for hydrogen, 12 times 1.008, is 12.096. But now, okay, that's fine and dandy. We got two numbers here, but how do I get the molar mass of the whole entire thing? Well, the molar mass is, remember, it's the sum of the individual masses, and the sum means addition. So once you get the parts, right, the 60.05 and the 12.096, what are you gonna do with them? Oh, you're just gonna add them together and that will equal the molar mass of C5H12. So 60.05 plus 12.096, you get 72.146 grams per mole. Box that answer off, that's the answer to part B. I'll put that one over here, I have room. 72.146 grams per mole. Check that one off. Next. Letter C, SC2SO43. And I think I have room for the third one, so I'm just gonna put it over here. So SC2SO43. How many different elements do we have here? We have three different elements, right? We have scandium, which is SC. We have sulfur, and we have oxygen. 
Now we just got to say how many we have. Now just know that this C is not its own element. That's not carbon because it's a lowercase. All uppercase are new elements. Lower cases have to be trailing from a previous element. So SC is scandium. It's not two different elements. How many scandiums do we have? We have two, right? So two here. How many sulfurs do we have? Well, it's in parentheses. Anything that's in parentheses, you got to look outside. They're telling you that you have three of this whole thing. So that would be distributive by multiplication. So there's one sulfur in here, but there's three out here. So one times three is three. But now what about the oxygen? There's four oxygens inside, but that's telling us that there's three of them. So three O4s. So three times four is 12. So you actually have 12 oxygens. But now what do we do? We times each one of these by the molar masses of the individual elements. So scandium is here, 44.96. Sulfur, we already found out before, was 32.06. And oxygen is right above sulfur, which is 16.00. So we just have to do this math. So 2 times 44.96, you get 89.92. 3 times 32.06, you get 96.18, and then 12 times 16 is 192. Sum of the parts, so you just got to add all these up. So 192 plus 96.18 plus 89.92, you get, I'll put it over here, 378 0.1 grams per mole. So that's the answer to this one. 378.1 grams per mole. And just note that I'm not caring about sig figs here. Whatever I'm getting as the answer, I'm just plugging it in and that's the answer to that. All right, so now I don't really have enough room, so I'm just going to erase um, A through C. It'll take me two seconds. And then we can get started with D and E. Okay, so... Hopefully this is helping you guys out. Let's keep going. D, CH3, CO, CH3, acetone. So that's what you use for nail polish remover. Acetone is part of nail polish remover. It has that smell. If you ever smelled acetone, if you ever smelled nail polish remover, that's the acetone. So how many different elements are here? Well, I see I have a couple of C's, right? Well, a few C's. I have H, right, and I have the O in the middle. So there's three different elements. There's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But now we just got to figure out how many of each. So for carbon, there was one here, one here, and one here. So one plus one plus one is three. How many total hydrogens? There was three in this one and three in this one. So three plus three is six. And then how many oxygens? There was just one lonely oxygen in the middle, so there was one total oxygen. Now we just got a times by their numbers. So we found out carbon from before. It was 12.01, so this is 36.03. Hydrogen we found out from before, 1.008. So 1.008 times 6, 6.046, oh sorry, 6.048, and then 1 times the 16.00 is 16.00. What do we got to do when we find all the individual parts? We sum them up. So this plus this plus this, right? We all, we, whoop, we add them all up, plus. So 36.03 plus 6.048 plus 16, 58.078 grams per mole. That's the answer to the to letter D, 58.078 grams per mole. 
And now last one, E, glucose. Sugar! C6, H12, O6. There's three different elements here, right guys? You guys get the gist here. There's a C, there's carbon, there's hydrogen, and there's oxygen. How many carbons? There are six carbons, so six. How many hydrogens? There's 12. How many oxygens? There's six. So I just multiply these by their weights. Carbon we found out before was 12.01. Hydrogen we know from before was 1.008. And oxygen we know from before is 16.00. So six times 12.01, 72.05. Point zero six, twelve times one point zero zero eight is twelve point zero nine six, and six times sixteen is ninety six. We got all the parts. What do we do when we get the parts? We sum them up. So this plus this plus this, it's all whoop, it's all the sum. So you add them all up and then you solve. So seventy two point zero six plus 12.096 plus 96 is 180.156 grams per mole. And that's the answer to this one. 180.156 grams per mole. Box that answer off. That is the answer. All right, guys. So this one was fun. If you guys need more practice for molar mass, Number 42 is always there for you guys. And if you want more practice as well, probably number 44. So if you guys have the playlist on, I'll see you guys all in five seconds. Thank you so much. If you guys want to help us out a little bit, click the subscribe button. Just gets the word out to everybody else if they need help with chemistry or any other OpenStax textbooks. Thank you for that. See you guys in five seconds. Bye-bye.